All right, guys, we are back on this 06 Club Car DS. If you remember, we just installed this back seat kit. Now I'm going to be installing dual action leaf springs. Okay, so here we go. Here is the dual action leaf springs. They're uh, basically a heavy duty leaf spring with the helper spring. Let's see here. And part number SPN 1032. These are for the Club Car DS. American made. And since you're changing out the springs, you might as well put some new bushings in. You're going to need two sets of these. This will do one side, this will do another side, so get two of them. I like to get it up high enough to work on without having to bend over too far. Tire off. your cover off see the rotor looks pretty the drum looks pretty good brakes look good there's nothing cracked or chipped the face of the hub looks really good too that's that's good I don't need to adjust the brakes on this since I know that they're they're good so we're not going to adjust them and this one's pretty straightforward it's not getting a lift kit so we're just going to be changing out our springs and bushings five eighths on the shackle bolts and 9 sixteenths on our leaf spring hangers. Well, really all you need is a 9 sixteenths wrench, 9 sixteenths socket, and a 5 eighths socket. First, move our shackle bolts. Don't start loosening bolts like I did until you get the jack stands taking the weight. We'll just save a lot of aggravation. bolt off. Okay. You don't have to disconnect the shock. I don't know if we're going to get in here with that big ass drill. use the wrench because the, from what I can tell here, it looks like that. Bolt may be seized. This one's coming out. easily but it's coming out okay you can see all right so what I'm gonna do is get this bracket out of the way so I can start swinging the leaf spring down as I am going to remove the shock from this bracket here since we're replacing see these bushings are all loose anyway but see you're replacing this hardware you're in here you might as well just replace all of them. Don't be afraid to have to cut the bolts if you need to. Sometimes you just gotta cut the bolts. But I have to cut it on this side of the hanger, so I have to get the brake cable out of the way. And 
down. Run away. And then this pin here should, <laughs> should just pop up. Let's see, it's also in there. Here we go. Okay, so now your brake is released. And that's it. That's all there is to it. Now I can get in here and attempt to cut on this side. I gotta cut on the inside of this bracket here. So let's see if we can get that cut. Screwdriver to assist. There we go. All right, Club Car DS springs. They're omnidirectional. It doesn't matter which direction they go in. There's no front or back. size of my impact and let it ratchet this in by hand. Nice day, everybody wants their golf to work on. Remember now that this spring pack is much thicker than the factory one. So you're going to have less threads to work with. You just got to make sure the nylock is grabbing the threads. Right, so now we'll hook up our... Actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to rotate this a little bit. What I'll do is I'll twist it this way, so that way, that way it's not stretching the brake cable out so much. Good thing. 
set the shock. This would be a good time now to change the shocks out, but these, these shocks are fairly new. They're actually, they're Monroe shocks too, believe it or not. Grab onto the shock. You don't have to go berserk on that either. And we'll stick our crevice pin and then our retainer. Okay, there you go. So people ask me the purpose of the dual action springs is, well, it, if you have a back seat kit or you have a, a box kit, a cargo box or a utility box kit installed, it will help with the squat because you start loading up the back of the golf cart with people or cargo. It will cause it to squat quite a bit and tire could rub, this top part of the tire could rub the body in some cases. Uh, this makes it more stable because it takes out the sloppiness of the factory springs. It won't have as much body roll, especially when loaded. This is something that I do on any golf cart that I'm putting a seat kit on. Okay. That side's done. Let's go on to the other side. Link to this impact. down in the description. It's an eBay link. Again. Let's check the pads, make sure they're not broken. And they don't need to be adjusted, they're pretty good. There's no mag major lip, lip or anything in there, so that's good too. thing literally that uses 5 eighths on this, this whole project. Oh, that one, that one pulled right out. Yeah, they might be fairly good. This one's moving freely. So the nut is coming off easily. It is not coming out though like the other one.
Warm. It is warm out. All right, so I must be out of those bolts. So what I'm going to do is just to get this all done here. I'm going to put. get this that bolt in we're gonna put this one in for good for this end I'm just gonna use this extra long bolt just to hold it in place until I get one I have to go get a box of them so down here won't be the right bolt for right now Hold it. Okay. Not enough threads on it, otherwise, it would be fine. Sometimes they give you a hard time and they fight you. So when you run into this issue where you can't get the, th the shock to extend enough, this is when you have to load up the springs and simple just by jacking up the rear end it will compress the spring enough for you to get on it. You attach our brake cable. exception of this rear putting lug nuts on the shouldered end goes towards the wheel I can't tell you how many times I've seen wheels or lug nuts with the, the shouldered end the tapered end facing out that taper is supposed to help center the wheel That's one thing to check as well. If you notice that the wheel's got a bit of a wobble to it, check and make sure that the shoulder taper is seated inside the wheel. All right guys, with the exception of that one, spring hanger bolt 
this cart is done and you can see there is much difference in the ride height it's going to be a lot firmer now in the rear as opposed to using the factory springs you can see here's the difference see how thin they are there's nothing there's not a lot of meat to these at all it's basically take one and step on it and I can I can squish it by standing on it you can't do that with my double action springs all right guys thanks for watching like the video if you liked it subscribe to my channel if you like my content leave a comment if you have any questions see you in the next video